Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day two of my cruise on Carnival Liberty. Today is uh, Nassau, so it's a port day, and right now it is about 6.30 in the morning. Ooh, looks like there's a lightning storm out there. It's kind of cool. Um, so 6.30 in the morning, we are porting at 8. I believe we are going to be off the ship at 8.15 is when we get to go into port. Uh, today, I think I'm just going to walk around Nassau a little bit. And then I want to go find the Queen's Staircase and walk up that. And then I'll probably just come back on the ship and hang out. But as of right now, that is the plan for this morning. So I'm going to get dressed real quick and go up and get some coffee. Get some breakfast. And get ready to get off the ship. So let's see what today has in store. Welcome to day two on uh, my Five day cruise, my four day cruise to the Bahamas. I'm back here at Nassau today and I'm getting ready to go off the boat and I am going to go to the Queen Staircase. When I was here last week, I did take a tour, but it was a driving tour. And so they basically just drove by the parking lot and said, it's right there. So from the port, it is about, I think it's one kilometer is what it said. So about 15 minutes. So I'm going to go walk up there. And then I'm going to walk the staircase. And if you don't know what the Queen staircase is, it is uh, it used to be 66, but now it's 65 stairs that was chiseled out of uh, the limestone by slaves uh, back in the day. Um, I don't know the rest of the history, but that's kind of the gist of it. So I'm going to go walk there. And I believe it's free is what I read, but at the top, I think there was a fort that you have to pay to get into, but we'll see. <laughs> So I just missed the Seussical Parade, I think, but if you've never been on Carnival, Carnival likes to do the Dr. Seuss, the cat in the hat thing, one thing, two. They always have them at their parties, um, their sail away parties, and then they usually do like a Seussical, um, Seussical um, par character parade, and it looks like a Sousa Palooza. So right now it is, oh, by the way, good morning. Welcome to day two on my trip to Nassau in the Bahamas. Uh, today I'm gonna go into Nassau and look for the Queen's Staircase. We're getting ready to port, so let's go check out outside. Got my uh, energy drink for the day. Not a big fan of monsters, but right now beggars can't be cheaters choosers right uh, I just got my first request to uh, delete a video I just took I was in the the main bar just you know just I guess showing people like trying to show my day right so it's nine o'clock and people already have mimosas and all that stuff so I just took a picture or a quick like grab of the atrium bar and then immediately when I was done somebody came up and asked me what I just took a video of and uh, I tried explaining to her that it was just, you know, a vlog trying to show what I do during the day. So she wanted to see it and then it clearly showed her face. So uh, she asked me to delete it. And I mean, it is what it is. Like, I get nervous when other cameras are around too. I get it. So it wasn't a big deal. It's just that's the first time that's ever happened to me. So I was a little taken aback, kind of off guard. But that's why I'm always like, leery of filming in public places because I never know when somebody is going to get upset and does not want to be on the camera but so far I've been lucky but anyway it's a nice beautiful sunny day here in the Bahamas and uh, looks like we are coming up to port um, we just crossed the I'm assuming it's called the sea break I don't know but you can kind of see it right here Or seawall, something like that, and yeah, just let you guys enjoy the view with me. Yeah. 
today all I want to do is go and look at the Queen Staircase, probably grab a local beer. I don't remember the name of it, but it was pretty good. And then uh, just kind of walk around the straw market and all that stuff. But yeah, we are pulling in the port. Don't judge my hair. It was windy when I first came out here. Because we were moving so fast. I think this was the same spot I was in last week with Carnival Elation, so I wonder if this is Carnival's like spot. Spot spot. Makes it nice though, just the first spot, uh, so you're right there as soon as you get off. Once again, I love the colorful colorful buildings. Uh, very fun. Pink and greens and blues and yellows and very tropical or bah bohemian, Bahamian, whatever. Very Bahama-like. I think my next house, I'm gonna paint it a bright color like this. Of course, if the HOA lets it. And I'm glad to be here because Hurricane Idella, I think is what it's called, is supposed to hit Florida tomorrow uh, on the Gulf side. So I live in Central Florida, so I will get some rain and all that, but luckily I'm on a cruise ship in the Bahamas, so I am gonna miss that. My first hurricane in Florida, so good timing, I guess. The Disney Wish. Disney wishes they were as fun as Carnival. <laughs> Probably not, but. That's a pretty big ship. Their last one that was here, it was kind of small, but Disney Wish seems pretty big. Whatever it's called. What is it called? Carnival. We can see the ships we've come I'm pretty sure the Liberty. All right, so here I am at Nassau, uh, getting ready to go look for the Queen Staircase. And, uh, yeah, I'm um, the map. I'm um, the map. I have no clue where it is, so hopefully I can find it. All right, so the Queen Staircase is about a kilometer away, according to the maps. So let's see if I can find it. Anyone else cable me? I don't know if I said already, but it looks like there's a storm coming in. So hopefully I can get there, check out the place, and then beat it back before I get rained on. So here's a sculpture celebrating their 50 years of independence from the Queen. Now moving on, still uh, looking for the Queen Staircase. I think if I travel generally in the right direction, I'll come upon it because it's a big tourist spot. So uh, I'm sure I'll see a lot of people. So if you like to shop, there's lots of shopping here. Uh, Tag Hewer, they got Effie, they got perfume, uh, diamonds, jewelry like that. Starbucks. 
and they even got PSLs. Oh, you basic white girls will be uh, happy about that. Sorry, is the queen staircase, is it straight ahead? It's, um, if you go up this way and go to the left, I mean, sorry. To the right? Go to the right, sorry. Yes, I pointed that way. Go to the right, you can't miss it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. I see a staircase. Is this the queen staircase, though? I don't think so. Not the queen staircase, but I'm getting close. I can feel it. It seems like everybody tells me to go left, go right, go straight. I think if I keep going in this general direction, away from the ships though, I will either find it or I'll get taken. One of the two. This compound is protected by a guard dog. Well, that's cool. I don't really know what compound this is, but I'm still gone. There's the Royal Bank House. Are you guys from a cruise ship by chance? Yeah. Yeah, one of them. What are you guys looking for? The Queen Staircase? Yeah. yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna follow you guys. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been like back and forth. Somebody says go left, somebody says go right. Well, we made it. Queen staircase. All right, so this is it, the Queen staircase. Now, like I said, 65, well, it was 66, but now it's 65 steps carved out of limestone. You ain't walking no more, you're running. It's not for that. It's not for this? Okay. <laughs> Is that it? Just the staircase? The Ford, the castle's at the top. Okay. All right, so this is the top of the Queen Staircase. Uh, a bunch of little shops up here. And the fort. Yes, All right, so if you want to go in, uh, it said it was $3 plus that. That's tax, basically. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and go in and check it out. Uh, like I said, they got a bunch of shops at the top of the stairs. Uh, the stairs are pretty cool. Uh, they are cut out of limestone. You can see it. It's, so it's funny, they got signs that say no professional video or photography and I looked at them and the tour guy was like, looked at my GoPro, he's like, not for that, you're good. He thinks so little of my GoPro. It's not the size that matters, it's how you use it, right? How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good, can I go see the castle or the fort? What? Yes, just one. Thank you. Oh. 
Thank you. So it's only five or three dollars to get in for adults and two dollars for children. Let's go see the castle. See this right here, this says, Fort Fincastle was built on the highest ground, the highest point of the island within view of Fort Montague to the east and Fort Charlotte to the west. So on my tour last week, they basically drove by the front here where the barrier is and they just, the guy pointed and was like, there's the queen staircase. So you really can't see it from the road. You actually have to walk in there and then there's a fort on top of the hill, which, um, you know, if you watch this video, obviously I walked through it, but pretty cool. Uh, it's crazy to think that they carved this out of limestone. Um, if you're in the, if you're in Nassau, I would say it's definitely worth checking out. It's worth seeing. So I looked online today and it said tickets to go here was like $34 if I'm not mistaken online. But when you get here, if, I mean, if you want to do self-guided to get in, it's only three bucks to get in. So it's not that big of a deal. So I would just show up and uh, just pay the price at the, the door to the fort. To actually see the stairs, it's free. Uh, you just walk there. Um, there's actually a parking lot right next to it. Taxis will take you here, so. Definitely one of the things to see if you're coming to Nassau. Like I said, if you're renting a car, there's a parking lot right next to it, but there's taxis that'll take it, take you to it. And it's actually only about a kilometer, about 15 minute walk away from the port. However, I went a roundabout way because I didn't know where I was going. The locals kept saying, go this way, go here, go there. Uh, I messed it up, linked up with another group off of the Carnival Paradise. Um, and I followed them to the staircase. And now it should be a straight shot back to the port because I can see the ships, so that's gonna be my reference. And I'm gonna try to hit the straw market and see what they got in there right now. If you're feeling uh, like you wanna try some local food, at the top of the Queen Staircase with all those shops, they have a shop that has like the coconut drinks. Uh, they have conch fritters. They have alcohol, obviously. Um, so you can try local if you want. I made it. I feel like that game Frogger, uh, you know, back in the 80s, if you grew up in the 80s where you have to time the traffic as you run across. That's how I feel like trying to cross the roads here. Here 
Here we go, playing Frogger again. I won that round. I'm gonna go look at the straw market now. Going back to the, like, basically the main strip as soon as you get off the boat and go out of the port. That's where a lot of the shops are. And even Nassau is going green. They got a couple of electric vehicle chargers. I don't know where they would park to charge them, but hey, it's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> All right, so here we are at the straw market. Uh, just gonna go walk through and show you guys what that is. It's on the maps and all that, and it's, uh, it's just like a big flea market. I, I believe, at least that's what I liken it to. But let's go check it out. No, thank you. Bless you. Have a look at my shop. Yeah, yeah. Look at, look at, look at. So that's the straw market. Uh, it's just basically every shop kind of sells the same stuff. Uh, they're willing to bargain with you as you go. It's like, uh, you know, like I said, it reminds me of a flea market. They got wood carvers on the outside. Uh, they sell like fake Rolexes. They sell some uh, fake Oakleys, fake Ray-Bans, all that stuff. Uh, you can buy Cuban cigars here. So, you know, they're trying to sell you Cuban cigars. Um, if you like the shop though, it, you know, it's worth looking at. It's not my cup of tea, but I just want to show you guys what it is. Now I'm going to go try to get a local beer and then probably head back to the ship. I just want to see the Irish bar in Nassau. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Yes, you. So this is uh, the local Irish pub. Got the local beer of Sam's. Mm. I feel like it uh, tastes like Heineken. But I'm drinking local, right? It's not as good as uh, the Keurig or whatever the one that begins with the K is, but it's all right. I mean, it's a beer. All right, so the Irish bar was a nice break. Got some AC, got a couple local beers. I tried Sam's, which I wasn't my favorite. Wasn't my favorite. Sam's was not my favorite. I like the Kill Lake or whatever it's called. And uh, now I think I'm gonna go back to the ship and uh, probably get uh, my Guy Fieri burger and maybe have a drink or so. I don't know. We'll see.
So it seems like everybody sells Cuban cigars here. Every vendor you walk by, every guy standing on the street seems to offer you Cuban cigars. I'm not a big cigar smoker, so I don't know if they're that great. But if you're looking for Cuban cigars, you can get them here in Nassau. Ice cold. Ice cold. going on it's like a party so i was going to go in the museum but uh it says no videography so. so when you get back on the ship you have to have your uh card and i believe a photo id so i just carry my passport whenever i come off so one day I want to go on a Disney cruise, but they're like three times as expensive as anywhere else. So I don't have kids, so it might be wasted on me. Um, but maybe one day, who knows? Maybe I'll win the lottery. So the Carnival of Paradise, that's where I fell in love with cruising. It was my first cruise that goes out of Tampa. It's one of those smaller ships. All right, so I'm just sitting here hoping to see a cruise runner or a pier runner. It is about 5.30. We got some people walking up here, but they got time. There's our esteemed cruise director, Adam. And there is beautiful Nassau. I don't know how to say it. I think that's how you say it. If not, I've been messing it up all day. Well, that looks like that was it. No pier runners for me. Maybe this is the last guy. That's two ships in a row. Everybody was on time. And we are off. Princess K's, here we come. Tonight is elegant night on the ship. Um, if you followed my last one or you've cruised on Carnival before, you know that every night uh, or every ship, one night is designated elegant night. And that is where people, you see a wide variety. People go all in, wear formal dresses, the sparkly nightgowns, all the way to like what people wear every night. So basically, um, elegant night is for if you're dining in the main dining facility. There's no shorts, no cutoffs, no swimsuits, no t-shirts, nothing like that in the main dining area. But the rest of the ship is free game as well. So, um, or the rest of the ship, you know, you can kind of wear whatever you want. It's just a typical night unless you go to the main dining area. Um, but still people dress up and they have the photographers. They always have photographers, but on elegant night, they usually have a lot more. Um, you know, so you can capture that special moment on the cruise because how often do you get dressed up and then there's photographers there to take your picture. So... Kind of a fun night. I enjoy seeing the different outfits. I've already seen uh, one guy had a flamingo suit, uh, top and bottom, all the way to the socks. So hopefully I'll find him again tonight. I'm sure he's going to stand out. Uh, me, you know, my elegant night, I'll wear a button-up shirt and a pair of pants. So let me go ahead and uh, show you, I guess, what the kids call it, my drip. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm wearing tonight. <laughs> so that's about as elegant as you get from me on these ships. I don't go to the main dining facility anyway or the main dining room just because it takes so dang long. Um, you know, I'd rather go to the buffet, in and out They got like shows going on. They got trivia. St uh, I don't think they have trivia, but they got shows. They got live music all throughout the ship tonight. So I don't want to be stuck in a dining room uh, for an hour and a half, um, you know, eating my food or even an hour. You know, I'd rather go to the buffet. 10 minutes, I'm in and out, and then I'm back enjoying the party. So 
First thing tonight is uh, 7.30 is they are doing the, what's it called? I think it's America Rocks. Let me see. I got the Fun Times. If you've never been on the ship, they put a Fun Times out now. Uh, they started printing it again. So, okay, Playlist Productions, America Rocks. So that's going to be at 7.30. They do it at 7.30 and 9. You know the big shows, they usually do it twice a night. And then I'm going to do that. And then they got the uh, violins going at the main bar, the, the lobby bar, atrium bar, whatever you want to call it. And then they're going to have a comedy show at 1030. It's kind of an early night for the adult one. Normally, I think that comedy, the adult comedy is at 1130. So I'm going to try to hit the adult one tonight at 1030. Just like on the last ship, I can't record anything in there. So I, I won't. you won't see any footage from that. But I'm also planning on going to uh, the piano bar because that's just a fun place, right? He requests music and then people sing along and... It's a fun place, so kind of that's what's in store right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to the show, so I can hopefully get a good seat. And that's what's going on at the moment. So let's go. All right, so the show's gonna start in about 15 minutes. I got here so I can get an end and hopefully get a good view. And so I'm just gonna hang out until the show begins. And after that, I'm going to go hit the atrium bar and get a drink and listen to the violins. Should be a good time. Fantastic show for you. Now your playlist performers are singers and dancers who you saw last night in the Welcome Report show. Well, they are back again. This time with our Liberty's Rock Band as they present to you a very... When the wave comes along, I want you to get on that band as you see. Throw your arms up in the air and scream as loud as possible. Come on, folks. This is a rock concert. Make it count. You ready for this one? Oh, everyone's getting ready now. Everyone's getting in set in motion. I'm excited. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! So I watched the show. It was pretty good. It's just like every other carnival show where it's like dancing and music. And then I stopped by the Avery Bar to get a margarita, of course. My favorite drink. I like tequila. And then um, they're playing Broadway shows on the violins. But 
they're running a contest where it's uh, they have a sculpture out there, and if you guess the weight of the sculpture, then you get an art package. Yesterday I guessed way high, and then I got a tip, so I had to come up here and make another guess, and they're going to do it tomorrow. And then they have um, the auction, which I think I lost my ticket um, on the last C day. But right now you see all these like cameras and stuff. Uh, it's once again it's elegant night. People are dressed up. I saw the flamingo guy, but I didn't have my camera out. So hopefully I catch him. <laughs> he has my favorite suit, but I think I'm gonna go to the alchemy bar and then definitely the piano bar and then the comedy club. But. Yeah, I'm just kind of hanging out and enjoying the night, so let's see what else I can get into. So some photographers are more in demand than others. This one I'm sitting right next to. Looks like there's a line. I don't know what the backdrop is, but it's probably a fun one. And then they're all along uh, deck nine, deck, deck five. So it's kind of a fun night. I'm listening. Was it delicious? No, I didn't. I also was about to start eating my dinner tonight. Alright, so I decided to go to the Alchemy Bar and I got the Cucumber Sunrise. I usually don't get drinks here because they're like weird. What? Oh, I just asked you for Oh, the Cucumber Sunrise. So, I do like it though, I do like the cucumber, and it's probably my favorite drink here. And the bartender was awesome. Thank you. You want to say hi? Of course, hi. <laughs> so now I'm probably going to go to the piano bar, and what else is going on today? Oh, the comedy club at 10.30 for the adult version. And that's about it, so let's continue to uh, people watch. So that's some drunk random people I met earlier today. <laughs> they were like at drink 14 at like 4 o'clock this afternoon. This much So this is the comedy club. Uh, once the show starts, I won't be able to record, so I just wanted to come in here and show you guys it before uh, the actual show starts. A lot of seating, they usually do two shows or three shows, you know, before I'd say 10 o'clock, it's family friendly. After 10 o'clock, it's the R-rated version. So I'm gonna hit that up later tonight. All right, so I got a drink from my friend, Jenny, she said, uh, the Alchemy Bar, you get the perfect storm. It tastes like Christmas morning, which, have you ever had a Hallmark candle that smells like Christmas? That's exactly what it tastes like. Sweet Caroline. I just got out of the comedy show, and now I'm just probably headed back to my room. It's about 11.30 at night, so I think I'm gonna call it. So if, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and uh, I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs>